Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Boom Shaka, and I'm so grateful that you guys are supporting me and spending time with me. I really appreciate the support. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about meditation and how meditation or the enlightenment or awakening journey is not about someone else. It's not about you gaining a partner. It's not about you becoming loved. It's not about um, you getting something from outside of yourself. But the basic essence of meditation or that journey is about yourself. Everything on that path is about yourself. Which means that when some people are doing or on the path, they're making it about someone else. For example, I've noticed this a lot. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing or a wrong thing. I'm just saying that it might not be the best way to get there. Is that I notice a lot of people, when they get onto this path, they're doing it because they want to find their perfect partner, their ideal partner, that partner that's going to complete them and they can go on this journey together with them and you know, they can find that man or woman or whoever, whatever gender you're looking for. Um, they're looking for that person and they're loving themselves and they're on the path because they want to find that particular person. And they think that the more they're on the path, the easier it will be to find that person. You know, that person will just drop into their lap because they're on the path and they're doing the work. And I really feel that that's a little bit of a convoluted way of looking at it. Perhaps it will happen as a side effect. But I don't think that should be the focus of your meditation, maybe. I don't know. I think the meditation should always be about ourselves and our own journey on this path. Because it is extremely impossible, I think. I think it's extremely hard to affect someone else in this world. I think it's hard to... to um, to convince someone else to do something. It's extremely hard to convince anyone else to do something. I think the easiest person that you can work upon is yourself, right? Just focus on yourself and realize that everything that is happening in your life is a result of your own work upon yourself. So it's all about you. It's not about someone else. Someone else didn't do that to you. Someone else didn't break you down or cause you to have a nervous breakdown or or, or, or make you feel that way. It is all within yourself. And I think that's why I love meditation so much. That's why I'm such a big advocate for it. It's because I, the more I meditate, the more I realize that the responsibility, the ultimate responsibility for everything in my life, everything in my life is upon my own shoulders. It's not it's not about anyone else. It's all about me. I made it happen. Everything that happened in my life, I've made it happen. So the good and the bad, right? The good, bad, and ugly, all of it happened because of my work upon myself, right? And um, I would say a simple example of it is that the reason I'm single right now and I have been single for the last three years and I've not even thought about being in a relationship is because of all the work that I'm doing upon myself that says I am fine as I am and I don't want anyone else in my life right now, right? And I tell myself this on a constant basis and when people come to me and they're like, oh, you should be in a relationship, you're awesome. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? No, I don't think so. I'm fine. And all of that work, all of that stuff that I've done on myself, that portrayal of who I am reflects in the world that I live in, right? It reflects in the world that I live in. Another example I would give is there are people out there who have a very much a scarcity mindset, right? So they're sitting there and whenever they have a conversation with anyone, I have friends like that in my own life and I avoid them completely. I try to avoid them because the main conversation that comes up is money. Oh, I don't have enough money. You know, I need more money. I, I wish I had more money. I don't, I don't, I'm not making enough money, etc. And you sit there and you think to yourself, if these are the thoughts, that you're constantly putting into your mind, no wonder you don't have any money, right? I mean, are you doing anything positive or are you making any efforts to have more money in your life? It's not by thinking constantly that, oh, I don't have any money, that you're gonna have more money in your life, right? That's not how it's gonna happen. You have to constantly be thinking, how can I make more money? How can I bring more money into my life? What are some creative ways I can do that? And that's how money is gonna come into your life, right? And so this is a, these two are very simple examples of how our life, our world reflects what's within us, 
But meditation really helps to see that inner world, right? Because most of the time we're so busy in our heads and so busy with our thoughts that we have no idea what's going on within ourselves, in our inner world. We're spending so much time thinking about all the negative things in our life and all of the stuff that's bad with our lives and all the people that have hurt us and all the things that are wrong with the world that we don't have time to even take that second to see, okay, what's going on within me? What's my inner world looking like? Because that is the reason why my outer world looks like that, right? Everything within your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. Every little thing. You might blame someone else for it. You might be like, that's my, that's my parents' fault. The reason I'm like that is my parents' fault, or my partner's fault, or my teacher in grade three, her fault, right? And we do that, and we're like, we want to push off responsibility to someone else. We want to be like, yeah, it's their fault, it's not my fault, that's why I can't really do anything about it, so I'm stuck like this for the rest of my life. But if you meditate, it makes it all about yourself all of a sudden, right? All of a sudden, it's impossible for you to blame anyone else. And this is, this is something that I've noticed a lot about me meditating is that the more I meditate, the more I realize I can't blame anyone else for it. And it's, sometimes it's like a little bit annoying because you're like, oh, I really want to blame someone else for this, right? You really, it's so easy to blame someone else. You can be like, all right, it's their fault. Great, perfect. I don't have to worry about it now. But meditation will not allow you to do that anymore because it makes it all about yourself rather than someone else, right? You're not in a relationship because of something within yourself. You don't have enough money because of something within yourself. You're living in a crappy apartment because of something within yourself, right? And so all of that responsibility all of a sudden is so powerful because it just is empowering. It is so empowering because it strengthens you, I think. For me, it has strengthened me so much because I'm not gonna be able to say anymore, or I never can say now, that yeah, it's my parents' fault, so I should go uh, blame them for it. No, it's my fault. Whatever is happening in my life is my fault. And my responsibility, I should say, not my fault, my responsibility. So if I want to change something in my life, it is about me. I have to make the change within myself before I look and point fingers at someone else. Right? And I really love that about meditation. I really love that. That's my favorite, absolutely favorite part about meditating is that the more I do it, the more the responsibility falls upon my own shoulders, the more empowered I feel, because if I want to change anything in my life, it's not about moving and going, about going to someone else and asking them to make the change and then hoping they make the change and relying upon someone else. I don't want to do that. I don't want to rely upon people because they're unreliable at times, mostly. And so I want to come back to myself constantly over and over again. I want me to be the ultimate power in my life. No one else. I don't want to give my power away to anyone else. I don't want my parents to have power and have them make decisions for me and change my life and help me make my life better. Not my non-existent partner or my exes or my sister, my brother, my friends, my teachers, my coaches, no one else. Now, of course, they can give me advice and they can help me and they can send me love, they can send me whatever they want, right? They can send me whatever, all of this good stuff. But the ultimate responsibility, meditation will tell you over and over and over again, lies upon your own shoulders. So if you want to make any changes in your life, and this is something that I constantly notice for myself, every single day, you know, I'll meditate in the morning, and I'll notice something about myself, within myself, in my inner world, right? Because the more you meditate, the more that inner world is revealed to yourself. And I'll be like, oh, I see. So that's the reason why this in my life is not working out. Because this is what I believe about myself, or this is what's going on in my inner world, right? And I'm not saying that it just kind of pops up. Sometimes it pops up, these revelations. But mostly it's a lot of reflection and a lot of thinking and conversation with yourself. And you realize something, and you're able to change that in your life. For example, I realized that it is time for me to start thinking about getting into a relationship again. It's a really hard thought for me to come up with and I am really wary of it. I really don't want to, right? But the more I meditate, the more that comes up that you are ready to be in a relationship again. I've been celibate and single for three years 
and the universe is constantly telling me, okay, it's time, boom, it's time, right? And one of the reasons why I'm not getting into a relationship is I'm afraid that's going to change who I am and I'm not going to be able to live my life the way I want to. But the universe is telling me over and over again, it's all right, you can still live the way that you want to. You're still just bringing a new personality into your life, a friend, a new friend uh, who is male, perhaps, and who's going to be in a relationship with you, right? And so I'm noticing that come up over and over again in my meditation. And I'm realizing that that's the inner world telling me that there's something changing within myself. And that's going to reflect in my outer world eventually soon once I accept it, once I can work with it, once I can take responsibility for it. Okay. I hope this makes sense. I know it's a very convoluted, abstract topic, but I, I hope I was able to explain myself properly. If you guys have any questions about this topic or any other topics at all, please email me. My email address is in the description below. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.